I'm here now with Alan from the Vegan Society. Hi, Alan. Hi. How are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. How are you? All right. My hair's getting stuck to the mic. <laughs> right, so um, I'm very curious to know more about the Vegan Society. Okay. I'm new to the brand, so please tell us what it's all about. Okay, uh, started in 1944. This year is our 70th anniversary. Congrats. So, yeah, we're kind of, it's been a really long journey, but it's gone super fast at the same time, but lots of things have changed. Um, you know, you talked. We've got members that have been members since it started. Wow. You know, we, we were looking at. Really impressive. You know, we were looking at the figures the other day, and we've got people that you know, a member number eleven and number fifteen. And it's like, it's kind of crazy to think there's still people around from back in those days, and they know the founder personally, or they've knew knew him. He's passed away a few years ago. Um, so we've kind of we started out as a way of teaching people that there are ways to eat that don't involve animal products. So, you know, encouraging people to have plant-based whole foods. Uh, you, you know, you can get all your nutrients from, from plants. You don't need to have dairy or eggs or meat or anything like that. Partly there's, a, there's quite a large animal rights kind of thing with it. You know, it's cruel, it's, it's animal cruelty, we're kind of against that. And there's also, we don't need it anymore. The, you know, it's quite obvious that you can be healthy without having to go to all that effort. Um, recently, you know, with environmental studies, it's quite clear that the meat industry has got a large impact on the environment in terms of CO2 output, the amount of food that is required, you know, to feed animals to then be slaughtered. Yeah. You know, large kind of areas of the Amazon are being knocked down, and different places in the world to grow palm oil or soybeans or things that are used for animal feed. When really we could knock down that, not even need that much space and feed everyone plant-based food and everyone would be fed so it's that kind of thing as well more recently and we're seeing the impact of that happen on a global scale so we're trying to you know push forward the idea of plant-based living because it's good cool yes yeah. and here at be delicious today and um, what are you promoting most uh promoting the 70th birthday really is the kind of that's the key thing that we're doing this year. We've got a, a party going on a little bit later. We're going to have a 40 style tea party. That's going Sounds to, fun. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, one of our former staff members, uh, she does uh, her 40s review and she's going to be singing and, and doing that because she does all the classic kind of 30s and 40s hits and oh. stuff like that. So we're going to try and make it much like it was back in the days, that yeah. kind of thing. Um, because the Vegan Society started at a tea party. It was right. uh, Donald Watson and his friends, they all sat together and they're like, yeah, we kind of don't need to eat animals anymore. We can live without it. And that's how you know, the word vegan came about because they took the middle bit of vegetarian out, kind of threw it away and went, we can do this. And you know, it's gone on from there. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we're here for mainly. We, you know, we sell all these books and, yeah. and the t-shirts and those things. And all that money just goes back into our charity work, um, working with government yeah. groups, uh, working with uh, the hospital catering associations, uh, school catering associations, different organisations that, you know, so we can try and get vegan, veganism as a lifestyle, as a dietary option, you know, available to everyone and make it easy yeah. and break down stereotypes and all those kinds of things because if you meet any of the vegans that are in this show, no, no two vegans will look the same. There's no, the vegan stereotype of pasty, white skins, you know, ill looking people doesn't exist. I've never met anyone that looks like a stereotypical vegan or vegetarian. Neither have I. <laughs> yeah, so we're you know we're living proof that it works, and that's what you know. This is kind of a celebration of that—the fact that we've done it for 70 years, you know, and we're going to do it for 70 more years, and you know, keep doing it until one day everyone's vegan, which would be, you know, that's the goal. And let's have a look at one of your books because yeah. there's a big selection right here. Yeah, we've got you know all the all the baking books and all that kind of stuff, but this is one that. Is really important. It's from a from a nutritional perspective. Um, it's a it's a new book called Becoming Vegan. Uh, it's based on um, recent studies, and it shows you know it talks about the beginnings of veganism. It talks about you know why would you want to be vegan. It talks about briefly some of the things with the meat industry and those kinds of things. So it breaks everything down, all the key points. Yeah, and it keeps it very simple. And it says, look, here's the facts. And if you want to live with those facts, then that's fine. But there are alternatives and it goes to it starts there and then it goes into you know things about the pros and like this, this bit pros and cons of a high fat diet it talks about what things are good what things are bad um, goes into details of what calories and protein and all that kind of things you've got 
minerals, vitamins, the foods that are better for it than others. It's quite in depth. Yeah, but it's it's really really in depth. It's, I mean, I, I bought it when it came out, and I'm still kind of working my way through it. And I've been vegan nearly ten years now, so you're always learning with veganism. It's like a, it's a constant experiment, but it's like the most fun kind of experiment because you tend to just kind of go home and like, oh, I wonder if that works, or I wonder if that works. But then you can look at this and you've got the science to kind of back it up. Yeah, so it's like kind of your go-to guide, really. Yeah, and it's the thing that if anyone says, oh, you don't get you know, B12 or you don't get protein, just kind of pick this up and go, well, actually, hang on. And I can go yeah. you know, pick out all of these things that dispel those myths and rumors. It's great. Cool. And for anyone who is interested and is curious to know more from what you've just said, where can they find the Vegan Society? Uh, we've got a thing online called uh, thevegansociety.com. Uh, we've got other social media presences, but the, ve the, the main Vegan Society website is the best place to go. It's got recipes on there, it's got information on campaigns that we're doing, it's got contacts. So if you live in an area where there isn't vegan food or you don't know, maybe you're trying it but you think it's going to be difficult, we've got local contacts across the country. So you could be in Manchester one day and you go, oh, I don't know if there's any vegan food in Manchester, let's have a look get in touch with someone in Manchester and they'll say, oh yeah, go here or go here and give you advice and tips and that kind of thing. Um, you know, we have people that support new vegans or old vegans or all different things. It's, it's fantastic. Sounds really cool. Yeah. Right, Thank great. you so much for your time, you. Alan. It's been really interesting to know more about, you know, veganism and everything that goes behind it in your brand. So cool. thanks very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>